Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you've seen my previous video, which I will link down below or just up here in the corner, whichever side it is, um, I did a come shop with me for what's new in Primark, not Primark, Panland in March. So I just thought I would quickly show you what I got. So Alfie's got a party coming up for a little girl and I obviously normally just buy for boys so I was really struggling because um, I'm not obviously, I think parties are really hard. Um, because you don't know what the children's really into so we just grabbed I showed some of these actually in the video these little lol brush which I thought is really cute some little lol bobbles and this like what's it called squeeze ball so it's like a stress ball but like a squishy if you would it squishes back up and down so those were all a pound each um, I grabbed some bath kind of stuff. I picked this one up. Now this one, oh, it's upside down. This is called Tropical Like It's Hot. Um, it's pineapple and coconut. So, oh, oh, I've got it on my nose. I squeezed, squeezed out and actually got on my nose. Oh, that is amazing. And do you know what? That would be lovely on a really hot day. I can, I can imagine using it being really refreshing. So this is the Imperial Leather. And it's a limited edition one. Um, I also picked these up, which I showed in the video. Now you can get these from like places, um, from like places like Home Bargains, and it's a bigger bag. But these are a pound, and sometimes these are just good to have in. This one is a eucalyptus um, soft and skin soothing make soothes muscle aches and pains. Now, when my like five miles is playing up, I love to throw this in my bath. I find it really, really helps. I also picked up some sponges that have got like this scrubby bit on the top. Um, we needed some new ones of those. I also picked up this little cute thing. It's going to sit in my bathroom. Ta-da! It was in the Mother's Day hook. Mother's Day. Mother's Day duck. Yeah, that's because I've just read Mother Duck on here, but it was in the Mother's Day range that they had and I fell in love and I thought, do you know what, I'm buying it for myself. Um, a little cute one with a crown. They had loads and loads of different designs of these. So I also picked these up for Alfie. He wanted a bath bomb and I wasn't paying a pound for one little bath bomb when he could buy three for a pound. These are cute little ducks. Talking of Alfie, I picked this up. Now, I've never seen anything like this before and it says bubble wavers. And basically, the bubble solution is in this bag and it's got like a little mitt that you put on your hand. It says dip and wave. Um, and apparently on the end of the mitt is loads of little holes so they can waft it around. Alfie absolutely loves bubbles and I thought we normally buy like the big bottles of just the bubble solution that this can be reused and reused um, or you could get if the bag breaks like a food bag or something but the mitt should be able to be reused. Um, so I grabbed, oh there's two lots of solution in here it says which is great for a pound. I thought that was brilliant to put away and if Alfie's bored we can go outside and do bubbles. I love having little things like this in that I kind of put away and keep so that um, if he's bored we have something to, to do basically. Ah, I've just seen, one second. This actually is the mitt. So under here are all the little holes and it says you cut along the bottom. So they stick the hand in this bag and then they've got all these holes in there to waft and make the bubbles with. So talking about Mother's Day, um, when they had loads of Mother's Day stuff in, I noticed this. Now this seems like a really boring thing to show you, but I actually think finding like hamper baskets can be hard and also expensive. And I thought this one was really nice because it's very plain. It's like it's not as white as it's showing up on the camera, it's more of a cream colour, um, but for a pound I thought this is brilliant because I have an idea for my mum, if you're watching mum, turn off <laughs> um, for Mother's Day, I want to make her a hamper um, and I don't know whether to do a video on it, so if you want a video on like what I would put in a hamper like this, uh, then just let me know down below and or hit that thumbs up button. If I get loads of thumbs up, I'll know you want to have a hamper video. I also picked this up. Now this is a little relax sign made out of wood. Now, 
Now, obviously it's a pound, and if you look, it's not going to pick it up really closely. There is these like little bits, so I might get a little bit of sandpaper and just rub this. This is the back. The front is a lot better because it's got like a finish on the front. Can you see there's just little bits? So I may tidy it up, but I thought you could actually even paint it. And if you wanted to paint like you could paint gold or silver or whatever, really. Um, I just thought it was really cute to go in the hamper. And last but not least. I I got another one of these little mirrors. Um, I am, as you'll see, the bedroom is in a different setup. Um, there is a reason for that, but I will explain it in another video. Um, but I'm wanting to do over on the blue wall, like a picture wall kind of area. I'm not quite sure yet because the room feels really different now I've moved it around and I'm not sure how I'm going to lay things out um, and stuff like that but this um, these are really cute you can even use them for like candle trays and smellies and like reed diffusers and things like that um, and for a pound I think these they do them in a few colours I think they do them in black as well as this grey they may do them in white I'm not sure but yeah for a pound I thought this was really cute because it does actually have the hooks that if you want to hang it straight on the wall but I'm hoping to put it on one of those like um, picture shelves there you are you can see yourselves <laughs> so anyway that's all I got in pound land um, so thank you for watching and what was I going to say then no idea oh there is a prime yeah um, this little man is sat right outside waiting for me to finish and he's just said please hit that thumbs up and button. yeah hit the subscribe button <laughs> every time I go to film he asks you lot to put your thumbs up and <laughs> to hit yeah. the thumbs up button um, thumbs up button hit the thumbs up button yeah. so yes we will see you very soon with another video bye, bye. thanks for watching